So the very last thing I expected to be doing this morning when I arose out of my very comfortable bed was uh, making a video on this YouTube channel. This YouTube channel um, is dead as fuck. But uh, today I wanted to come back for a very special reason. Pretty much everybody and their fucking grandma's dog has been talking about this situation. So, I'm just going to give my thoughts on it. I'm sure you know about Call of Duty. Obviously, very popular game franchise. Um, the publishers, developers, whoever. Activision have... Uh, they pulled the fucking Putin Ukraine button. And they've just been... Started just, you know... Giving non-stop middle fingers to the COD community for pretty much no fucking reason. Other than the obvious. Hello, I like money. Yes, of course. The reason any American company does anything at all, money. So basically, let me just break down the the general gist of the drama, right? Uh, pretty much what has been happening recently is, um, if you don't know, there's a lot of like COD, Call of Duty, like fan-made servers and stuff. Pretty much like custom community servers. If you've ever played Counter Strike, it's kind of like that, pretty much. But, uh, they have to make custom clients since it isn't built into the game, right? Um, and also there was, like, a fan project pretty much going on that was supposed to... It was supposed to be, like, the ultimate Call of Duty, apparently. And what did Activision do? Bam! Cease and desist. Fuck you. Now, we're not exactly sure why they, uh, struck down SM2, which was the, like, fan-made Ultimate Call of Duty, because they didn't, I don't think they actually stole any assets or anything, correct me if I'm wrong, but, um, we're still not exactly sure why they did that. Although, we're pretty sure we know why they struck down the community server, you know, custom client known as Xlabs. Pretty much what Xlabs was, it was... Uh, pretty much a community-made client with community-run servers, anti-cheat, all that nice, good stuff. But um, it was completely for free. It included Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, uh, Call of Duty Ghosts, and Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Now, the problem with this is that everything was free. And when I say everything, I mean everything. Including the fucking game files. Let's just put a fucking torrent file of Modern Warfare 2, Call of Duty Ghosts, and Advanced Warfare on our website for everyone to download for free. You know, it's not just a mod for the Steam version, like fucking COD 4X, which is essentially just the same exact thing, but for COD 4. But, you know, the, the developers were actually smart and didn't just fucking put the games for free up online. Pretty much blatant fucking piracy. Now, I'm going to be honest, I'm all for piracy. Uh, I think I think copyright needs to be reformed, if you will. I feel like, as of recent years, especially with the rise of YouTube and all that, I feel like it's just an excuse for fucking massive corporations to just absolutely strike down anyone who uses their product in a way they don't like. I believe that copyright law was originally made for, like, so that smaller, you know, artists, uh, fucking whoever, you know, couldn't just get their shit stolen by somebody like Activision who has, you know, billions of dollars in fucking, you know, pretty much money printer games. They're just, you know, physical money printers at this point. And, you know, fucking eight Saul Goodman times ten lawyers, right? But, um, we absolutely should not be defending Activision. I think that, you know, they're abusing copyright law a little bit. I think, I think there could be some case of fair use with the whole SM2, uh, drama. I, I don't really see a reason to cease and desist that, other than a reason I'll get to in a minute. But, like, if someone is just blatantly fucking allowing someone to pirate your game, there's gonna have a problem with it. Especially if they're being sold on places such as Steam and the Xbox Marketplace. Now, am I fully fucking defending Activision here? Am I just the biggest Activision, you know, fucking dick writer of all time? No, fuck Activision. I feel like the only thing they use Call of Duty for is just money. They don't give a fuck if the game's good. They're just like, oh, pump out those those bundles so little, little Timmy 
can steal his mom's credit card and buy the new fucking World War II anime bundle. They literally just use the game for money now. It used to, you know, they used to actually give a fuck about the games, but they only care about money at this point. Which, you know, that is literally how a fucking corporation works. I don't understand why people get surprised when, oh, the the, the corporation, they, they want money. That's the entire fucking point, whether you like it or not. You know, if I don't if I don't like a big corporation, if I don't like, you know, fucking Sony, Xbox, Nintendo, whoever, they will wipe their tears away with hundred million dollar bills. They do not give a fuck. They are a massive mega corporation, right? I'm I'm sorry, I'm descending into a little bit of a rant about corporations here, but um es- essentially what I'm trying to say is that Activision doesn't give a fuck about their game anymore and they're just using it for money. So that makes it especially infuriating when things like SM2 are struck down. Now, I feel like with X-Labs, it's a little more iffy because they were just blatantly fucking hosting the torrents on their site. But I don't understand why they decided to strike down X-Labs, a fucking community passion project. Um, Pretty much just a fucking community server mod for old Call of Duty games that haven't been updated in, you know, 10, 11 plus years. Do I think it sucks that they sent a fat cease and desist to X-Labs? Absolutely. I actually fucking played the game myself. Uh, I played the Call of Duty Ghosts and Modern Warfare 2, uh, like, community mods. Um, and it was, I had a super, super fun time on there. Especially Modern Warfare 2, there's some great servers on there. Now, people are acting like the game is completely dead. Um, it's not. The servers are still active for X-Labs. SM2 was in development. It has been fucking, it has been cancelled. There's no way you're ever gonna, you know, play SM2 unless some crazy Half-Life 2 beta leak happens. But the servers and shit are still active for X-Labs. Uh, they're just probably, they're not allowing people to download it anymore, and they're definitely not gonna update the client or anything anymore. So that sucks. But this brings me back to my original point. It fucking sucks that this happens, but we can't really do anything about it. It's Activision's IP, and you know, while we might say, oh, fuck you, Activision, you know, uh, I don't think a judge in a fucking federal court or whatever is going to really give a fuck about about a bunch of people online crying because they sent a cease and desist to uh, a community server mod, right? And I'm tired of all these little fanboys just fucking defending the X-Labs team. I think we should absolutely be defending the SM2 people. They obviously, I don't I don't think they deserve being cease and desisted at all. They weren't using the Call of Duty name or anything like that. Uh, I don't think they were even stealing assets or anything. So, I don't know. I get, it's, it's a little bit iffy. I'm not sure what happened there. But at some point or another... X-Labs was probably going to get struck down. And it's safe to say in about a week or so, the other uh, community project, like community server project called Plutonium, that has Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, World at War, and Modern Warfare 3, I believe, is going to get struck down in the next week or so. Which fucking sucks, because I've been playing it since, like, 2020. I have been on that client pretty much since... uh, it was a little earlier in development. I'm not I'm not super OG, but uh, I started playing during like 2020 before it got super, super popular. Uh, yeah, I think, you know, it obviously sucks that Activision is just like, oh, you can't, you can't have this, you know, to a game they haven't, they probably haven't uh, updated it in at least like almost 20 years at this point. They're pretty much just giving a giant middle finger to the entire Call of Duty community. And for the last time, while it sucks that this shit is getting taken down, like X-Labs is getting taken down, it was a nice fucking thing, it was obviously going to happen at some point. Activision is a fucking greedy corporation. I don't know how the COD fanbase is not, you know, realize this by now. And it's partly the X-Labs developer's fault for putting the torrents on their website in the first place it is their entire fault that their game got fucking taken down i'm tired of people acting like oh activision was being greedy they're a fucking corporation who has done shit like this in the past what do you expect 
I'm sick of all the X Labs dick riding retards that are just blindly de fucking defending them, uh, without actually having some sense of logic. I don't know. It fucking sucks, but there's nothing we can do about it, at least for now. X Labs was open source at least, so I I think there's definitely gonna be you know some remaster of that launcher or something like that. And plutonium needs to take them torrents down before they get fucking fried like Kentucky chicken and uh, get hit with a cease and desist in the next uh, week or so. But that's it for me giving my uh, neglected child that is my YouTube channel a morsel of my leftovers. So, uh, yeah, I'm probably not going to be making videos regularly. Um, if I do, well, fuck. But, oh, well, this, this is me uh, fucking... I'm, I'm just going to end the video randomly, and, and you guys are just going to...